What's up, I'm Vin, and today I wanna to go through a proof of Pythagorean theorem, and I'm gonna use similar triangles for this proof. Now, what I'll do first, we have right triangle with side lengths A, B, C. I'm just gonna extend this out a little bit to give space. So I'm gonna write C all the way up here where C is the hypotenuse. And I know it's the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. And what I wanna do is I wanna draw in an altitude from the right angle. So I'm gonna draw in a line to the opposite side, and this is gonna form two right angles like this because once again, I'm calling this the altitude. And then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna label this first segment as segment D, and let's just make that a little bit neater. So segment D, and then this will be segment E. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up two proportions. So we have three triangles here that are all similar, okay? All three of these triangles here are similar. And the way I know this, because if I call this angle, let's say theta one, and this one here is theta two, Notice in the big triangle, we have 90 plus theta 1 plus theta 2 is going to equal 180 degrees. So if we look at this medium-sized triangle, right now we have 90 theta 1. This would have to be theta 2. And then in the small right triangle, we have 90 theta 2. This would have to be theta 1. And note here that theta 1 plus theta 2 equals 90. So this is all checking out. So far, we have three similar triangles. Now, the first proportion I want to set up here is I'm going to look at the First, I'm gonna look at the big right triangle, and I'm gonna set up the ratio A over C. So we're gonna have A over C equals, and I wanna compare it to the medium triangle, but be mindful, in the big triangle, A was a leg, and C is the hypotenuse. But in this medium-sized triangle, D is the leg, so I'm gonna write D over here, over the hypotenuse of the medium-sized triangle is A, because it's across from the right angle like this. Now, the next thing I'm gonna set up is the next triangle here, the small one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to the big triangle. And in the big triangle, I want to set up the ratio. Let's say here we have B over C. So that's the other leg compared to the hypotenuse of the big triangle. But now in the small triangle, the other leg here is E over the hypotenuse of the little triangle is B because it's across from this right angle like this. So this ratio will definitely check out. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cross multiply like this. And this is gonna give us A squared equals, and we're gonna have C times D. But then when we repeat this process in the second proportion, we have B times B is B squared, and that's gonna be equal to C times E. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna actually add these equations together. So I'm gonna have A squared plus B squared. I'm gonna add the left side. So I have A squared plus B squared. And that's going to be equal to the sum of the right side. So I'd have C times D plus C times E. But notice we could factor here that this we could factor out as C, and this is going to leave us with D plus E. And now you may not seem it may not seem like we accomplished much here, but we have A squared plus B squared equals, and now we have C times, pay attention over here, D plus E. If we add those two segments together, D plus E is equal to the entire length C. So we'd have C times C, which would equal C squared. So this tells us then, this proves our formula. This tells us that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And this concludes our proof of Pythagorean theorem.